so I have my fabulous friend Lisa here. Hey. She's gonna be doing my hair today and well, why don't you explain to them what you're doing? You're just doing like a nice light glaze of color around the face, bring out those cheekbones, give her some layers, make it a little bit more flirty. You're gonna have Yay. fun with it. So we'll show you guys the finished results soon and I just wanna show you guys Jojo here. She's gonna be Lisa's assistant today. That's her beautiful daughter, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and don't mind the nose, because I've got a little guy coming out. Um, yeah, but we'll see you guys in a few more minutes to show you the results. So, hopefully this is gonna turn out good, yeah. What do you mean, hopefully? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Of course it is. <laughs> so, so right now, we just finished rinsing it out. Um, we're gonna about to cut it right now, and then I guess soon enough we'll blow dry it and you can see the whole thing. Blow drying in style. <laughs> so guys, this is the final product. It's like this, I guess, what do you call it? Like a honey brown? Honey brown. Yeah, and then it's way shorter than I've ever had. Hey guys, so it's so awesome to be back and chatting with you guys. I really wanted to do a favorites video and I haven't done one in a long time because of all the craziness that's been going on, but I've mashed up the September slash October favorites for you. I know it's a little late, but I still want to share it with you guys. And for the number one favorite, here's my new haircut. What do you guys think? My friend Lisa did it for me. Um, I think you saw the footage. I probably put in the footage in the beginning. But yeah, this is the end result. What do you guys think? So talking about hair, here is the first product I want to talk to you guys about, the Cocoon Oil. I think that's how you say it, um, but it's an anti-frizz hydrating oil. The thing is, my hair tends to get oily at the roots, so I can't really, you know, put, use too much conditioner or I have to wash my hair all the time. It's kind of crazy, but at the ends, it can get super dry, so if I don't put any conditioner in, this can look like a hot mess, especially now that I've dyed it. Again, it needs some hydrating, and so... This is, I've been loving this, I've been using it for the past month on my ends and it really gives it a nice shine and it really hydrates the dry parts of my hair. The only downside I would say, I mean if you're a person that's into scents like I am, I like smells. For some reason, it has a really really nutty flavor that kind of reminds me of, have you ever been to a place where someone's like smoking and it kind of gets trapped in your hair a little bit and then like you know, later on in the day you go to hair, smell your hair and it has that weird funky smell. Well, that kind of reminds me of it. I know it's not like the most amazing thing, but some people smell it and they actually say that they like the smell to it and just smells more nutty to them than like smoke. But I guess it's all preference. In the end, I don't really care because I love the way it leaves my hair feeling and it really does, it really does hydrate it and it brings back some shine. All right, let's talk lips. So the most recent lip products that I've been using um, are these three lipsticks and two Jordana lip liners. I've actually mentioned these before in um, a previous video, but I thought they were worth mentioning again. So let me just start off with the lipsticks. So the lipsticks are Moxie, and it's a beautiful kind of like raspberry-ish pink color, um, more on the dark side, not too bright. Here's a swatch right here for you guys. And I just love the way that the the bottle, the container, the lip container, I just love the way that the container opens and closes for the Moxie. The next lip product I have is a drugstore brand, Maybelline, and it's the Untainted Spice. It kind of, whenever I look at it, it reminds me of cinnamon. It has that kind of like brown reddish color to it and it's so beautiful on um, I'll probably do a makeup look soon with this so you guys can see what it looks like but here's a swatch of it as well and the third lipstick I've been rocking lately and I've been obsessed with like seriously obsessed with is um, the cream sheen cream in your coffee I never tried this out before and I never had it and I just happened to get it one day at the Mac store. I had a gift card for my husband, so I was like, oh, let me just pick it up, let's pick this up. I feel like it's the perfect warm nude shade for my lips, my, my, for my lips and my skin tone. I also have like multicolored lips, so I need like specific lip stuff and lip products. And I definitely love this Cream Sheen Cream In Your Coffee uh, lipstick. And it's such a beautiful color. It's like a warm, um, mauve kind of color, 
nude color. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And here's a swatch of it too. Now, for my lip liners, the ones that I always, I have used these before, before and I've mentioned them before in a previous video, the Jordana Cabernet and the Jordana Plush Plum. They are such beautiful, beautiful colors. Right now, actually, what I have on is a cream in your coffee by MAC and the Cabernet by Jordana lip liner. So it's, I have this kind of like ombre effect going on. I love it. It's perfect for the season and the holidays. By the way, if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look, just let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do a tutorial for you all. Moving on to nails. So these two colors um, have been my go-to nail polishes for the seasons of September, October, and probably going into December, I probably will be still using these. I love them. I can't get enough of them. And the first one is Sinful Colors in Rich in Heart. It's this very deep, it's a very deep, deep maroon color, like red, red wine color. And it looks shading in the bottle, but actually comes out pretty matte on um, on the nails. I actually have it on my nails right now, but my nails are pretty chipped, so don't judge it on that. And then the second lip, um, the second lip color, the second nail color I have, it's this color foil by Sally Hansen. It's this like really bright pinkish foil color, and I actually been using these two together i've been you know using the regular as a base um the uh, rich and heart as a base and then i've been just sort of creating a sort of french manicure with the with the pink foil and i've really been liking the way it looks and it's different and unique and i've been wearing them on and off individually and together so definitely my favorites 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 probably my favorites out of this favorites video if you haven't checked out the foil nail polishes yet by Sally Hansen, definitely check them out because they're so cool. So I have been looking for a good uh, eyelash curler for a long time and every one that I pick up always turn out to be crap. They're just crap. And they don't curl my lashes and they don't do anything, they're just a piece of junk just sitting there and that's been frustrating me. And I know I mentioned it to you guys and you all told me to check out the tweezer man eyelash curler so for those of you who are looking for a good eyelash curler highly 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 recommended i got mine from target um the tweezer man eyelash curler i forget how much it cost probably think it was like no more than ten dollars i believe and this thing is definitely worth it like it it really it like does magic to my eyelashes it seriously does I love it so much this product right here I have been obsessing over it since I got it um, and I know everybody's always talked about this and like loves this the wild Madagascar vanilla ultra shade body cream by Bath and Body Works um, and I've actually never really tried it until this past month and so it's been I mean yeah this past month in October and it's been just awesome phenomenal it's it's so sweet smelling without being overbearing and it does the job. In October, I switched up my facial cleaning routine and I implemented these two products, um, California Natural Gentle Cleansing Gel and the California Natural Balancing Complex for a combination to oily skin. And the California Natural, they actually sent me these products and I've been using them and I've been saying and a lot. <laughs> and I really, really love them. I love the fact that I can use them, especially right now during this season from the months of September to like probably all the way into March. It gets really cold here in New York and my skin tends to dry out really fast. Um, and so this gentle cleanser is actually really good. It actually moisturizes my skin. It's not too harsh on my skin. Uh, especially during this time, this weather, my skin just needs a gentle touch and it pretty much does the job without being too harsh and it leaves my skin feeling really refreshed and nice smelling. So I've been loving this. So this next product that I wanted to share with you guys is another MAC product. You guys have my, may have seen this in my one of my hauls. It is the Soft and Gentle MAC Highlighter and this thing is just beautiful. Um, and I've been using it a lot, a lot more lately, even though, even if it's like a day look, a night look, the way that I've been using it is what's been my favorite though. Like not, I mean the product is amazing, definitely a favorite this month, but the way I've been using it is taking my fan brush and 
instead of like sweeping it all the way down to here, just sort of keeping it on the highest point, the highest point, the highest point of my cheekbones. And sort of just this area, like this area from like sort of the corner end of your eye and up. Um, and it gives this really nice glowy effect without being super fantastical or anything. It, it still comes off and looks very natural and leaves that little radiant glow. For this last MAC product that I have, I've been loving the, I've never tried it, but the Deep Damson Eyeshadow by MAC. It's such a beautiful color. It's like this really, really um, deep, dark wine color but it comes off like this warmish wine color. I'm actually wearing it on now. Again, if you guys wanna see how I did this look, just let me know below and I will do it for you guys. But, oh, this color, it's so beautiful. It just, it's like a sexy eyeshadow. It's just, mmm, it's goodness. <laughs> this next favorite of mine is near and dear to my heart. It's actually a recipe box. Ah, uh, so, I don't know if you guys know Rifle and Co. Paper Company. They do these amazing and beautiful embellished like uh, hand cards and artwork and recipe boxes. But their recipe box was like, I think $34. It came with everything. It came with like all the cards and everything in it. And it's made out of tin. I was like, I don't got money like that. So I'm going to make mine instead. So what I ended up doing was taking like, um, you know those trifles you use for science class when you're a kid? I ended up taking that kind of material, making the box out of it, and then covering it in pattern paper. And actually the top paper is from Rifle. The bottom paper is, I got it from Paper Source. And even this, down to these little pieces, it's all paper. And I even printed out and created my own little recipe cards. Uh, that will house that looks similar to the Rifle Co. Company one as well, and they're shaped a little bit different, made a little bit different, and include a little bit different instructions. But I love, love, love my recipe box now. I keep it in my my kitchen, and I'm a big foodie fan, so I love collecting good recipes from families and friends and whoever else wants to share. If you guys want some good recipes, let me know. I will hook you up. And yeah, I love it. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? It's so adorable. Yeah. And if you guys want to know how to make this, it's pretty time consuming. But if you want to go and purchase it, definitely go to the Rifle Coal Company website. But if you want to make it, I can definitely show you how to make that too. Uh, I will link all the information below. The next favorite I have for you is a book. So I am launching my blog pretty soon. Probably by December, if not by January. Just keep out on the lookout. Stay connected via Instagram. I'll be announcing it there first. And it'll include everything here I do here on YouTube plus more. So I'm going to be diving a lot more into other things like more creative stuff, even maybe foodie stuff. It's going to be more of an aspect of me sharing my life. Uh, so I hope you guys will join me that join me in that adventure. But something that's been helping me along the way is this book, um, Blog Inc. Uh, Blogging for Passion, Profit, or to Create Community by Joy Cho. And so this is from the uh, creator of Ojoy.com. She's a blogger as well. Um, and there's a there's a few other individuals that have did interviews in the book as well. So it's a really great book. It's all encompassing when it comes to blogging. And there's a lot of information, a lot of how to, and a lot of pointers and advice. So I really enjoyed this book and it's, and it's designed nice. So it's been my book for the month and I, I really love it, I really love it. I'm almost done with it. I didn't finish it actually yet guys, but I am almost done with it. And I just wanted to share it with you because I thought for those of you who maybe want to start a blog out there, a book to check so, out. My favorite song that I needed to share with you guys for the month of October, and it's still for the month of November, has been the song Jealous by Labyrinth. My cousin Miguel hooked me up with that song, and I've been playing it nonstop. And Miguel, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> but it's such, I think it's really, it's beautifully written, first of all, and the music in it, it's just intense. And the thing is, what, what's so great about it, it's so simple, but it's so powerful. If you guys haven't heard it yet, Definitely check it out. Again, I'll link it below. 
Um, Labyrinth, the singer, he's just phenomenal in his creativity and the way he takes his music and all his all the songs. But in this song, I just, I, me and my husband, we both like play it all the time. For this it. favorite monthly favorites, I wanted to throw in an app that I've been using lately on my phone. So I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, S5 and the phone app that I've been using lately is Google Keep. It's so awesome. It's kind of like having sticky notes in a notepad form, but you, each sticky note you can, you know, customize whether it can be a task list or regular notes and you can include images on them and take pictures or you can even make it a voice note. So it's really, really simple. I love the fact that I can just collect all this, all my thoughts there, all my notes there and plan right here in this one little space. And I even plan for this video in here. I have my notes in here. And what's great about it is that Google Keep can also be accessed online. So I love the fact that I can access it here on my phone and if my phone is out of reach, I can definitely access it online. So I thought you guys should know about it, especially for all you organizers out there. I shared it with my friend Josin. She's a super organizer. She loves color coding things. And for anybody that's like that, you're gonna love this app. I absolutely love it and adore it. It's And it's, it's designed really nicely as well. So as you can see that I'm attracted to things that are designed really nicely. But again, it is user friendly. It, it's phenomenal and it's, it's a great way to organize, you know, thoughts, ideas, to-do lists, agendas, etc. and collect photos. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you like this monthly favorites. Stay tuned for next week and the week after that I'll be putting out some more videos and if you guys want to stay connected on Instagram to find out what I've been up to and what the blogging's been like, do connect with me at Stephanie Nadia. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Remember that you're absolutely beautiful. And until next time, mwah, bye.